Well, it is almost Friday, which means we got to talk about all the fun events as we get ready for a pretty comfortable weekend across the Middle Ohio Valley. So we brought back again for the second time in a row, <laughs> Jeff DeWitt. Oh, <laughs> we don't hate people. you. We promise we don't. <laughs> we always appreciate when you come in. I appreciate that, Henry. Thank you. Big weekend is absolutely right. Uh, starts today, 9 to 3 p.m. at the West Banco on Market Street. There's a multimedia arts presentation, and it's by Carissa Mendenhall, and that's being displayed at West Banco on Market Street. Then, tomorrow evening, 6 to 9, steampunk pumpkin class at the Parkersburg Art Center. So we're going to learn how to carve pumpkins like steampunk? That's what I would understand. That's, That's what, what I, I feel. it's going to be. So that would be pretty cool. Yeah. Kind of Halloween-y. <laughs> <laughs> and then Saturday, 1 to 5, downtown Parkersburg is Chalk the Block. So they'll, kids and everybody will be able to draw some art on the sidewalks of Market Street. And the weather is going to be fantastic, Absolutely. so I would go outside and do it. Sounds good. And then Friday and Saturday, we know it, it's a big weekend on the island. Blennerhassett Island, it's Mansion by Candlelight. And I understand there were a few tickets remaining for Saturday evening. Uh, I believe the Harvest Dinner is sold out, but Saturday evening yeah. they uh, will have, uh, they did have a few tickets left, but contact the uh, museum for that right down the street here and then sunday 3 p.m the parkersburg corals choral society has their concert at the arts center and again that's sunday at 3 p.m that's a full list right Absolutely. there i again like i said fantastic weekend 70s all around comfortable maybe a little chilly in the morning but hey Get outside, enjoy that fall weather. Absolutely, very exciting for Archbridge too. As yeah. you guys reported, we're gonna have a permanent home, the old Convention and Visitors Bureau, kind of across from Levitt Funeral Home there. You finally gonna move into it soon? Yeah, well, they're cleaning the carpets uh, as we speak, from oh. what I understand. So we're getting ready and there'll be a little bit of some things we have to do, but we well, thank the community support and Lindsay has spearheaded this and the board has certainly been ready yeah. to go with this and it gives us a nice permanent home to be able to continue the 14 programs that we run every year plus the other ones we bring in so it's That's very exciting fantastic time we can't wait to see when that building opens you know me and austin will probably be waiting in line to be the first ones not a part of arts bridge to get in Yes, we'd love that. We'd but of course, that. can't forget about ArtsBridge. You can learn more about all of the events going on at the link below. Absolutely. ArtsBridgeOnline.org. But Jeff, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks, Hey, we wouldn't mind for you to come in for a third week in a row if you want to. As busy as Lindsay is, that has some good possibilities. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see you again next time, and we'll have more on Daybreak right after this.